From our underground base beneath the Denver International Airport, we decided to investigate the phenomenon of direct energy weapons. Imagine a weapon that could destroy, disrupt, or disable enemy systems without even touching them. Sound like science fiction? Not exactly. Welcome to the world of Directed Energy Weapons, or DEW. These are not your ordinary weapons. Directed energy weapons leverage highly focused energy, whether it's laser, microwaves, particle beams, or even sound waves to cause damage or destruction. The technology behind DW is as fascinating as it is complex, with roots reaching deep into the realms of advanced computing, artificial intelligence, and space technologies. Directed energy weapons are a category of weapons that use directed energy, typically in the form of highly focused laser beams or concentrated microwave radio frequency radiation, to incapacitate or destroy targets. These weapons differ from traditional projectile-based systems such as bullets or missiles, as they rely on the transmission of energy over a distance to achieve their effects. DEWs can be ground-based, air-based, or space-based, offering flexibility in deployment. They're seen as the new frontier in warfare, capable of precise, rapid, and often undetectable attacks. Hypothetical uses range from disabling enemy electronics, to manipulating weather patterns, to causing inexplicable fires. Some even speculate that recent firestorms in places like California and Hawaii could be the result of DW testing. But are these DEWs real, or are they just products of overactive imaginations and conspiracy theories? So, you're probably wondering if these DEWs are real, Where's the evidence? Well, let's take a look at the U.S. National Science and Technology Council's list of critical and emerging technologies. This list includes directed energy, placing it alongside advanced computing, artificial intelligence, and biotechnologies. This isn't just a collection of buzzwords. It's a forecast of future military needs. Now let's shift our gaze to recent events that have sparked speculation. Have you heard about the devastating firestorms in California and Hawaii? the Paradise Fire, Santa Rosa Fire, and Maui Fire, to be precise. These fires were catastrophic and some believe they have a connection to DEWs. The evidence? Anomalies in the fire patterns, the intensity of the flames, and the specificity of the destruction. Witnesses claim that houses were destroyed while surrounding trees and shrubs remained intact. Others reported seeing trees burning from the inside out. Even the press questioned the unusual intensity of flames that could melt steel and aluminum and leave tarmacs and road surfaces undisturbed. While some dismiss these theories as wild conjecture, others see a pattern that can't be ignored. These examples show that DUs are not just a product of fiction, but a real and present concern. The reality of DEWs raises the question, what does the future hold for such a powerful technology? Imagine a battlefield of the future, no more bullets whizzing past, no more explosive booms shaking the ground. Instead, invisible beams of energy, silent and precise, cutting through enemy lines with surgical accuracy. This is the potential promise, or threat, of directed energy weapons. These weapons could revolutionize warfare, offering unprecedented accuracy and minimizing collateral damage. But with great power comes great responsibility. The ethical implications of such technology are staggering, is it right to develop weapons that are so potent, so precise, that they could potentially be used to target individuals rather than armies? What about the potential for misuse by rogue states or terrorist groups? As we move forward into an increasingly technologically advanced future, the reality and potential of DEWs cannot be ignored. So, to answer the question we posed at the beginning, are directed energy weapons real? The evidence certainly suggests so. So, where does this leave us? Well, in a world that's rapidly advancing where the lines between what's possible and impossible are constantly being redrawn, the existence of directed energy weapons, while not universally accepted, is increasingly hard to deny. Whether we like it or not, we live in a world where the lines between science fiction and reality are increasingly blurred. Directed energy weapons, it seems, are a part of that reality.